Merhaba friends, stock Android x86 on your Windows machine using QEMU backend and QTEMU frontend, the word manager for Windows. And it will be powered by Intel's hardware acceleration execution manager, Haxim. Oh man, I got that wrong. So let's get started. Okay. So first up, I assume you have QMU and QTMU installed. So we'll file a new machine and we'll name it Android x86. And the version is going to be Linux. Type is going to be Glue Linux also. For the type of the machine, we will browse down till we find Q35 and hit next. In here, we will choose the processor. You can choose any processor you think it will work. I'm going to choose the most safe side stable processor which is base and for CPU count I have four CPU I'm going to assign four CPUs and the max CPUs is going to be four I have one socket and I have four cores in that one socket and I have one thread per core so in total I'm assigning four th uh, cores okay GPU type standard VGA might work but I'm going to bump it up to VMware SVGA2 audio looks fine i did not test audio if it works doesn't work then try something else okay hardware acceleration manager is yes Haxem. i said right machine memory uh we are going to give it i have eight gigs of ram you see there so i'm going to give it 4096 which is four gigs of ram and let's create a disk and i'm going to push it all the way to the right so we have 100 gigs but don't worry, if you select QCOW2, it's going to be a virtual disk, which is going to be dynamically managed. So you, it will not assign all 100, 100 gigs at once. All right, so we saved it and we have to go to boot options to insert the Android x86 CD-ROM. So go to the boot menu and hit CD-ROM all the way to the up and go to many media and browse add to your Android 86 ISO and select it. And it has version nine, I believe. So things look good and so we can save and let's get started. All right, again, <laughs> all right. So click, click on start machine and we'll wait and this thing shows up and it was quick. See, we have hacks and working fine. So this is very important guys, look very closely. Okay, so go to advanced option to install it. Just come down to auto installation, auto install to specified hard disk. I mean, I wish Windows and Mac OS <laughs> install was this easy. I mean, I was surprised. Okay, I mean, you have chosen to auto install. So click on yes, this is the last confirmation. So yes, that is what we are here for. And yes, this will take some time. So be please be patient and about maybe I don't know maybe around 15 or 20 minutes the installation will be complete and we will be given a confirmation that yes Android x86 has been installed I mean just imagine I mean people are dual booting for this thing but we are running it on a VM with on Windows 11 right so that's cool okay now this screen it says it's installed so just shut it down don't do anything why because now we are going to boot from our hard disk so right click machine settings again and go to boot options, uncheck CD-ROM, hit C HDD to all the way to the up, go to the media and remove CD-ROM media, the ISO that we have downloaded. All right, now let's get started again. Yes, now things should go well. Yes, and we have this bug there, but don't worry, it should start up like uh, i was concerned but after i waited for some time it started up and yes this is the first install so guys it will take around five to seven minutes maybe i mean for slow machines 15 minutes please be patient guys all right there we are hi there it says and i'm going to walk you through these steps really quick and now first i'm going to check zoom to fit and you will see i'm using vmware and grab on hover so Let's get started there on again. How many I'm going to say? So, okay, so it's going to check for Wi Fi. Hopefully, because we have selected networking, what Wi Fi? See, yes, 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 guys, we have internet. I, yes, so it's, if it's checking for updates, then that means we have internet, right? So, I don't want to copy any apps right now. And 
I don't want to sign in right now, but you, you know, you, if you want, you can sign in. But uh, right now, I'm not going to sign in, so I'm going to say skip. Just a second again, uh, Google services, I'm going to turn off location and allow scanning. Let's come down. We see I don't want to send anonymous usage data and diagnostic data, install updates and apps. This is fine. Looks good. Let's click on accept and move on. Protect your tablet. Uh, no, this is the most secure tablet I have in the world. So yes, these settings will, uh, sometimes there are some glitches, so expect it. So I'll skip anyway, and we add, the see fat finishing touches, and I want to select the taskbar, not quick step. Yes, 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 guys. See, we have Android x86 running on our VM, okay. So it says finish standard PC and you see the, the we don't want to bring any data from here. Let's see what we have next. Again, I'm not signing in. Please sign in if you want to play games on this Android machine. All right. I am not here to play games with you right now. But please write down in the comments below what games you tried and what games you could play. Because this is accelerated by Haxam, yeah? And we have the VMware graphics also. So this should be good. Okay. Now, this display is not good, I agree, but you know what guys, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to feel so start a terminal and hit SU for super user access. And as soon as you hit enter, it will scream and say, you know what, terminal is trying to access the um, super user privileges like this. And yes, you remember the choice forever. You can say this time or 10 minutes only, but I'm going to click on allow forever okay i don't know if this was a good or bad choice okay zooming back in these are the commands to fix the display so we're going to mount the disk to the mnt so we say mount dev block sda1 the first partition which is the uh, grub to s front slash mnt now we are going to use the vi editor so we are going to say vi mnt since we have mount the sda1 to mnt so mnt grub menu dot lst it is not one st it is lst i missed up okay so come down and go to this first line you say you said um, after the kernel add these words there so say video video is equal to 1920 by 1080 i mean why i chose 1920 by 1080 by because i have a 1920 by 1080 monitor if you have a 1366 by 768 or some other dimension or resolution, please check with your monitor or your manufacturer. Then you should choose that video display. Okay, so hit escape, uh, hit escape colon and then uh, shift colon WQ and then come out. I'm just checking whether I did was correct. So it's escape shift semicolon WQ. Okay. This now we have to unmount it. So we're going to say unmount this front slash MNT. That's it. And since we have super user access, we are going to reboot. And next time our display should be good. Okay. So firing up again. And this time you see it just bloated up the display to cover my screen. So I'm going to bring, pull it here. And yes, we see we have 1920 by 1080. Uh, Android x86 running on our Windows 11 machine using QEMU, QTEMU front end powered by Intel Hexam. How exciting is that? Okay. And if you want to play games, I must show you this that if we come down here, you must change this setting if you want to play games for better compatibility. Come down to the Android x86 option, enable native bridge. Disable anonymous hardware information. All right, that's it. And then if you want, if you come down and check the kind of machine that I have here so that you guys will, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm not cheating on you guys. I never cheat on my viewers. Uh, we are running Q35 ICH 2009 virtual machine. And yes, we saw everything, but we did not see internet, right? So here is the internet and we are watching this some ammonia compressor crankshaft and these guys are working really hard. So I'm, this was, this machine, this video was only in 720p. So I could bump it up to 720p only. And if I click on full screen, we are actually running in full screen. So if we're in full screen, swipe down to exit. We say, got it. 
and yes that looks like a hot rod yeah oh man oh okay so let me stop it and terminal emulator is still running but don't worry we are going to close it and looks good guys so write down in the comments below what games you can play on this machine thank you so much guys take care i would love to see you your your comments thank you so much for your time have a nice day bye bye